Hi, I'm Danielle, founder of thesedge.org, where changemakers come to launch and grow impactful social enterprises. Now, today I want to talk with you about a topic that almost every social entrepreneur I meet talks about as being so, so important in their work. But it's also a topic that so many people still struggle with. Can you guess what it is? It is collaboration, the buzzword of social enterprise and the nonprofit world, in fact. And so, as you most likely know from firsthand experience, collaborating and partnering is actually much easier said than done, isn't it? And it might even fail a lot more than it works. And you hear about those stories and I'm sure you've experienced them. I for sure have as well. But the interesting thing, as you probably also feel, is that social entrepreneurs, impact entrepreneurs, change makers, we have a responsibility to try and make this idea of collaboration work. Because when it works, it can result in so much greater impact around the world than you could possibly imagine. Um, because the scale and complexity of the issues that we're dealing with are so large that no one person or one organization can possibly do it on their own. I mean, we all understand that. And yet it's so difficult to find these partnerships and collaboration opportunities that really seem to work. Um, so moving the needle on some of these really tough issues really does need us to build our skills on how to cooperate and collaborate and get better at it so that we can actually tackle these really hard, complex problems. So although you might agree that collaboration is our secret weapon as social entrepreneurs, uh, you probably have some doubts about how to actually do it and make it work. And you might even be thinking, Danielle, I've tried it. It's way too hard. It just isn't worth it. So I want to tackle some of those doubts that you might have in this video. When you approach collaboration strategically, it actually makes your work easier and not harder. And that's because you can really stick to your strengths as an entrepreneur and as a change maker. As the old saying goes, jack of all trades, master of none. So as you wear many hats in your role as a change maker, as I'm sure you've experienced, I have about 20 hats that I wear every day. Um, but it's actually a lot tougher to be really good at all of those tasks. And the beauty of collaboration is that you can find partners that have different strengths than you, and you can come together as a team, even though you're not a formal team, um, you can create those opportunities to really build off of each other's strengths. And there's nothing more beautiful than seeing someone else create something that you know you wouldn't have been able to do as well as they did, and have them contribute that to your goal. It's um, an incredible thing. Another hesitation that you might have about collaboration is that it just simply is not effective at all, that it takes way more time than it saves, and that in the end, it's just not even worth trying. So I would argue that in fact, when you approach collaboration with a plan, it helps you grow your impact even more than you could on your own. Because the reason for this is collaboration helps you deliver value and approach your work in ways you might not even be able to imagine on your own because every individual or organization that you might be working with brings their very own unique skills, insight, and background to the table. So when you're sitting down to solve a problem together, you will have a much more varied perspective in terms of tackling that problem in, in ways that you could not imagine on your own. And working with these individuals from diverse perspectives really brings the opportunity to see problems through new eyes and listen to brand new ways of approaching um, challenges or even just moving your goals forward. So with working, working with new people, asking different questions will really bring you to potentially different outcomes. And that's a wonderful thing as well. And the other way that collaboration can actually be more effective for you and not take extra time is that you can actually accomplish so much more in much less time because collaborating is a very unique way to grow your team without actually hiring uh, members of your team. So you can grow the productive hours of what's being contributed to your social enterprise or your um, issue that you're tackling without spending any money. You can choose to partner with individuals or organizations that have aligned goals and are working towards um, complementary a complementary vision to what to what you are. And in this way, you can kind of harness uh, extra work time and, and effort and all move it towards advancing your goals. And so it essentially allows you to do more with less. And as you know, um, for entrepreneurs, 
we're working with scarce resources, that's part of the definition of being entrepreneurial, is that you have limited time and limited money. Those are the two big ones. And so if you can find creative ways to leverage your own time and money in a way that um, creates more impact and generates more work than, than you would otherwise, then that's going to move you towards your goals even faster. So the final doubt that you might have about collaboration is that, and this is kind of a big one, especially for people who like to um, make plans and have control over how things go. And that is you might feel that collaboration means you have to compromise. You might feel that it means you have to completely eliminate your ability to um, have some decision making control over how things are gonna go and how you can move your work forward. But guess what? You really, when you approach collaboration strategically and with a plan, you don't have to compromise. It's kind of a crazy thing to realize, but I'm telling you right now, it's possible to have a very productive and meaningful partnership or collaboration and not have to compromise on how you want thing, how you see things going. Um, and here's the trick. When you take the time to become crystal clear on what you're looking for in a partner and what gaps you see that you need help filling, when you become crystal clear on that um, and then approach finding your partner strategically in with that in mind, that's when you find the collaborations that mean you don't have to compromise. So that's the secret, my friends. And the reason is because the collaboration is not a haphazard, oh, fly by the seat of your pants, um, you seem cool, let's work together. If you do it that way, yes, you probably will find yourself in situations where you do need to compromise and, and it might feel like you're not um, being true to the vision that you have. And, and you might have that internal struggle on how to handle that. But uh, in the other sense, if you approach it with a plan and it's not haphazard collaborations, then really um, the need for compromise will go down drastically. And that can feel really great to know that you found a partnership where you can move forward together and both feel really good about the work that you're doing together. So bottom line, after all of these uh, doubts and misconceptions, hopefully we've shed some light on the potential for collaboration to be different from some of those um, myths and doubts that we might have in our minds. Because when you approach it with a plan, it can completely be effective to move your goals forward and it can actually save you time, not take more time to make it work. And um, best of all, you can find partnerships where you really don't need to compromise and you can both or all of the parties involved can feel really good about working together and uh, reaching your aligned goals. So um, until next time, hope that helped and take care.